Okay, this next song is, is in my CD coming up. It's called There's Something About You. And I'll tell you a little story. I like taking, telling stories. Uh, it was inspired in the classroom. I was teaching a 12th grade class, uh, music theory. I was trying to teach them the, the importance of recognizing intervals, you know, second, third, fifth. And they were hating it. And I said, are you kidding me? These are the words to make sentences in the music. If you have, uh, we were talking about the minor six. <laughs> Listen how beautiful that is. And they're like, oh, okay, yes, listen, you can do so many wonderful things with six, just six. And then I went home and I said, wait a second, something came into me and I based this song in a minor six. And it took, I worked all night and the next day I played it. And I said, what is that? I said, was a song inspired in our class, but I didn't say the minor six. And I said, how did you entitle it? He said, there is something about you. Oh, we know you're in love. I said, no. <laughs> See if you can figure it out. There's something about you. Nobody could figure it out. I said, there's something about the sound of that minor second that just gets in here. I mean, there was an, an old movie called Love Story was based on the minor second. Remember? So anyway, this is my love story. It's called There's Something About You. And then, of course, I wanted to mix my own little Latin flavor in it. And it goes like this.
Inside. Now they, they put strings, like guitar strings here, this side, to, to make it more bzzz. I don't know how to say like it. A snare, snare. Like a snare drum. Yeah, like a snare drum. So the, the box is originally from Cuba and Peru. We both use the, the instrument. It was born, I mean, it, 
the story is that black people that were uh, working in ports, uh, you know, carrying stuff during break, during the break, they would sit in the box that they would they have been carrying, and they start playing. So later, the box start using out of that context from from that working or break during the work to to other kind of venues where you are doing only music. And um, in 1974-76, I don't remember very well, Pablo de Lucia, this guitar player from Spain, he came to Peru, and one percussion player gave him one. He took it with him to Spain, and now you can't imagine flamenco music without cajon. But it's, it is not Spanish, it's Cuban and Peruvian, and now it's part of the flamenco tradition. And this one is coming from Spain. Yeah. Thank you. No, no. Wow. <laughs>